Okay, uh, we're here with uh, Kenji Suzuki. We're doing an interview for um, GatheringMagic.com, which is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. And uh, the article that we're doing here today is featuring um, my article series called uh, Far Wandering. It's the uh, Western perspective of a magic player who lives in Japan, and we're trying to give insight on Asian magic in general, not just Japanese, but in this case, Japanese. So, um, first thing I'd like to do here is um, I'd like to have uh, Mr. Suzuki introduce himself. So, uh, Mr. Suzuki, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, what do you do? Um, what level judge are you? And uh, give us a little bit of history with respect to magic. Okay. So, <clears throat> my, name, my name is Kenji Suzuki. Uh, uh, I'm a level 3 judge and a regional coordinator. Now I'm regional coordinator of the Japan and Korea. Uh, the just just is for the regional coordinator. And, uh, uh, the, and the head judge of this tournament. Uh, my magic experience began uh, then the like, uh, most edition, I say, coming out. So that is quite wrong. And uh, my, judging is, my judging history is uh, kind of also wrong, like almost 10 years. Okay. okay. So uh, another kind of general question. Uh, what do you like most about judging? Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I enjoy to uh, make like the, the tournament better and make people happy. You know the if the uh, if at the end of tournament, at the end of the day, the people saying, "Oh, this tournament is pretty fun. This tournament was pretty fun." It's, I will come back in the next time. So that my that is my the the best thing to hear from players. Sort of, you know, I the 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 like players happy face. Okay. Yeah. So you like to make uh, please the players. You like yeah. to make them happy. Great, yeah. great. That's great to hear. So, um, is there anything about judging that you dislike? Dislike. You know, the now we now I'm uh, kind of some. I have some uh, important job. It 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 means I have some stress. Uh, sometimes I have some stress. Uh, you know the, the you know the judge community is person to person. The you know judges to judges, judges to player. Sometimes we have some stress, so the it is you know I I, I, I don't like you know I I want I want to be happy all the time, so that it's not a good thing. And uh, the other thing is uh, yes, uh, the DQ is not good. DQ. How many uh, DQs have you given in your uh, career so far? Um, actually, uh, as a head judge, uh, only one. But uh, the, I, other than that, I have experienced the, the uh, where I included in DQ oh, event right. for like a few times. Okay. And before the head judging experience, was that uh, a Grand Prix or a big level tournament? Which tournament was it? Right. Which tournament was it when you had um, the, the, the very recent tournament is Grand Prix Shanghai. Grand Prix Shanghai, you were head judging? No. Or you were uh, part of that? Yeah, part of that. The head judge is the, the, uh, the big, big limited tournament in Japan. Oh, limit. Limit. Okay. Limit. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So this is your first uh, Grand Prix head judging. Good. Great. Um, okay. So. The next question here is, uh, other than Japan, have you uh, ever judged anywhere else? For example, another country or maybe even uh, right outside of Japan? Yeah. Um, and, or even as a player, have you played in tournaments outside of Japan? Um, as a judge, I uh, judge in the uh, we, we, uh, the pro tour outside Japan. Right. Other one is Shanghai, GP Shanghai, and the other player. Uh, I've been in 
Toronto, Canada for two years, but uh, I have basically uh, that two years uh, I play music in Toronto. Okay. Where did you play in Toronto for any of our Toronto viewers? Huh? Where did you play in Toronto? Um, when you were in Toronto? Mainly in uh, the... Uh, Do you remember the name? Huh? Do you remember the name of the store? 401? 401, yes. 401, okay. Good. That's my local store. <laughs> Good, good, good. I think people who are watching will be happy to hear that. Great. So, now, it seems that you have a lot of international experience, uh, both as a judge and a player. So, um, what is your opinion about magic or the judging community outside of Japan? Um, foreign magic. Foreign magic? To you as well. Mm, actually, we have lost uh, to learn about magic from the outside of Japan. Right. Because we, the, the, from here, we have kind of isolated from other uh, regions because it, it's mainly because the language problem. Right. Uh, many uh, judges and players don't speak English in Japan. So that we still have lots of things to learn. But, uh, also, we have some very good things to share about that, but uh, we still kind of, I, we are still isolated. Right. Uh, so. so you think isolation yeah. um, for the Japanese, what about compared to maybe the rest of Asia, maybe Koreans and Chinese, do you think uh, it's different that way or? Uh, Korean, uh, yeah, now the, uh, we have new, new, new Korean product, you know, so the, but uh, nowadays the Korean community is kind of small. So the, the, about Korean, uh, the, my uh, first uh, step is make Korean community bigger and better, right. so, and then go outside Korea. But, uh, in recent news, uh, Koreans have recently gotten back their language yeah, yeah. for their cards. What do you think about that? How does that uh, change magic for Koreans? Yes, it, 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 it will definitely change the Korean magic community. Uh, we have three Korean judges here in Hiroshima. Great. So, the, uh, so they actually they come here uh, because the Korean have their own product right now. Wow. So that it is, it is, it is good, really good thing. Okay. Where do you see Korean magic being in the next like few years? Do you think it's going to be at the same level as Japanese magic, maybe American magic? Uh, sure, but uh, I hope, I hope I, that someday I can, like, you know, the, we, we have the same team number of judges from Japan and Korea, like, you know, it, now that Japan is the fur bigger than, you know, than Korea. Okay. But, uh, Great. That's perfect. So, um, well, let's look at your previous answers about this, and what do you think, in what way is the Japanese community, compared to what you were talking about, the foreign community, the Japanese community, how is it different for magic players and judges compared to the rest of the world? What's the good points and the bad points, or do you have mixed feelings? Uh, the, the, about judging, so the, the Japanese, the good point of Japanese judging is all, almost all Japanese judges are really, really hard work. They, you know, that you, uh, I think you cannot imagine, but uh, uh, the almost all judges don't take break if I ask to take them. Really? Yeah, so that actually the each, the all, all judge documents, like, please take a break. Right. Please don't keep your lunch. But if you really need them, you could ask them, please don't take your break now, I need your help. Yeah, but uh, it, mm, in, 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 in Japan, we, I, I, I haven't said that word okay. in my judge experience. Okay. The, 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 Many times, have you have you got your lunch or have you got break? Right. No. So please go right now. Like, 
So you're saying the Japanese people are used to just working, working, working yes. until yes. someone says, yes. go take your break. <laughs> and uh, the, the bad thing is, uh, like, so that it, it kinda, it's kind of uh, similar to the good thing, but a uh, bad thing is we don't, we, we are not good at work as a group. You know, that each person are really good judging, but as a group, uh, you know, the, I think the, uh, the, the European judges and US judges, they are really good as a team. You know, right. the whole team is really going well, okay. but uh, you know, the each judge, the comp if we compare the judge, one judge to one judge, right. we are very good. But uh, as a team... So you're saying Japanese don't work well as a team compared to other, compared to other, 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 region, other foreign judges? Other, other foreign. So that's kind of strange because a lot of people, I think, would, they assume that Japanese people work very well as a team, better than individually. You, so what you're saying is sort of like the opposite. Um, Can you, well, as a judge, right? As judges. So wh what makes you think that way? Any reason why you think they don't work well as a team, in particular? Um, or as, as effectively compared to other teams? What does other teams have compared to a Japanese team of judges? Um, by, by saying team, I mean like, uh, not the small group, right. like four or five judges, okay. uh, but uh, for the whole community. The whole judging? You know, whole judging, like, okay. you know, the city or 40, the whole community in some region, right. like that. Right. In that area, we are not good at, uh, you know, the... You can say it in Japanese. Yeah. What do you think it is? The... You know, the the, the many, many European or U.S. judges call the judges as a family. You know, family. Family. Okay. But uh, yes. we are not like Oh, family. I see. So you don't connect to each other the yeah. same way they connect with each other, like a family. So do you think that's maybe like a sign of coldness in the Japanese community? Coldness? Mm, do you yeah. find that yeah. Japanese judges are friends with each other compared to... Yeah, some judges are friends with each other. Right. Like, uh, I think it, it, you know, I, I, I think I cannot talk about this okay. in detail right, right. now, but, okay. uh, you know, the, the whole thing, we, we don't, uh, we are not good at, like, thinking all judge community as a farm. Okay, right. Do you think maybe in the future this is something that you need to work on yeah. in the Japanese judging community? So, actually, that's why I became the regional coordinator, right. so that I can connect all the teams. Okay, good. I can see that you probably will be able, the most capable person for that job, so I wish you good luck for that. Okay, so now, um, la a few last things before we finish this up. I want to congratulate you on your first appointment as head judge for Hiroshima. Thank you. Okay, so how does this make you feel? Like, uh, is there a lot of responsibility? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actually, Actually, I have lots of things uh, before the tournament. Uh, you know, it, I think it, uh, I have more uh, things uh, to do uh, before the tournament rather than during the tournament. Right. You know, I have lots of preparation like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I, you know, of, of course I have... Uh, with, you know, the responsibility, but uh, yeah, that's a good thing for me, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy to be here as a head judge. Great. Um, in the future, uh, do you think that maybe you'll be looking towards doing more head judging in the, re the major tournaments in Japan, maybe even Korea, if there's tournaments in Korea? Um, you know, the, usually the uh, head judge of Grand Prix is very cool. Okay. So that it's kind of exceptional case. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of visual coordinator. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I want, I'm not sure, but I, I, 
I can talk about that after the summit. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So, uh, also, um, what are your short-term and long-term goals as a magic player and a magic judge? So maybe, maybe not so much as a player these days, <laughs> mostly as a judge. So what do you see in your future, short-term and long-term? Um, the short-term goal is like uh, making, making, yeah, ma certifying more judges. Right. Uh, uh, for, uh, in a, in a whole, uh, oh, okay. I, I think that, I think that, uh, that my, that I want the every, Every prefecture have at least one set. That's probably a very difficult task. Yeah. If mo some of our viewers may not know, but Japan has many prefectures. Yeah, yeah. Many, 40, many, 47. 47. Almost as many states as the United States, right? Canada only has 10 provinces yeah. and 3 territories. So, so make, make more the certified, but certified judges and the, you know, the, uh, as I said, uh, making our community more, uh, yeah, closer, closer, yeah, more like a family. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, in your opinion, how many uh, how many judges do you have now in all of Japan, and how many do you want to have? Maybe let's say in two or three years. Now we have, I think, eighty. Yeah, about eighty, and uh, I need. Like one hundred, yeah, at least one hundred. So your your goal is another twenty or thirty yeah, yeah. judges. Yeah, and uh, another like three or four more level two. Okay, so you want to promote them as well if they're qualified. Great. And um, okay, so that's the short term. What's your long term goal? How about you as a judge? Do you want to get level four? No, one? no, you don't want that responsibility. Okay, I. If I have more time, you know, I I would think like, you know, yes, this, it is a, my first CT head judge, mm -hmm. and it is a really good first step to pursue level four, but uh, right. unfortunately, I don't have uh, that much time because of my job. Okay. So that my long term, really long term, uh, the goal is find another this person who can do my job. <laughs> so does that mean at that point you want to stop doing your job? So yeah, that is because you know that that this is this is really important job. Mm -hmm. You know that of course I I will do everything I can do, right. but uh, if someone can do the same thing. You know, there's two people and more than one people, and uh, right. we can easily uh, pass to this job to another person. Right. And okay. uh, you know, the Japan is the wrong shape has the wrong shape. Right. But, uh, one person sometimes one only one person uh, doesn't uh, solve the problem or right. the problem. You need to have a few people to help yeah. with the problem. Okay. And, uh, and uh, the other thing is more and more communicating between Japan and other countries. One last thing I'd like to ask here, um, just sort of a personal question, and it's kind of a touchy situation. Do you think that the, um, the events of March 12th have affected Japanese magic in any way, like especially in the northeastern side? of Japan. Hmm. Actually, uh, Japanese players, Japanese magic players, you know, the, the, the young boys, the almost old magic players and young boys, right. so that, okay, they, now they, the, the tournament doesn't change at all. Okay. So that at, we have we have we have tournament as usual right now. Okay. But uh, I'm sure that for example in Japanese GP some uh, players don't come 
to Japanese GP right. because of the you know, radiation. Oh, okay, radiation. Yeah. So they're scared of the situation. That was the big problem with PC Nagoya. So that, but uh, in domestic tournament, but domestic tournament, do we have uh, all tournament as usual? Okay. Right now. So it really hasn't changed too much, which is which is good. It's good. It's good that it hasn't affected uh, the community so badly. Uh, great. So finally, any last things you would like to say to our viewers about Japan, about judging here? About magic? About magic? Yeah, actually, we, we, have, we have really, uh, we have lots of good judges and lots of good players. Uh, so that, yeah, I think, I, I, hope, I hope many players and judges uh, communicate with other players in the world and other judges in the world. So, uh, yeah, I, I can, if I can help doing that, so I will do everything to do. So, yeah. Great. So, so the, for the you know the European or uh, US people, so please communicate aggressively with the Japanese and Asian people. And please come to Japan. Yeah. Please come to our tournament. Yeah. Good. Good food. Good. Good. Good, good, good food. Great. Great. Well, again, that was uh, head judge of Grand Prix Hiroshima, level three judge Kenji Suzuki, and uh, this is Daniel Pham for GatheringMagic.com. And uh, until next time, everybody. Thanks.